Nasty Kaepernick just demanded one personal item from every NFL team owner for foul reason. The protest against the NFL is escalating to new heights every day. Even though the boycott that was brought on by the ridiculous protest has cost the league hundreds of millions, possibly even billions, in ad revenue, ticket and merchandise sales and possibly government subsidies, that they are unwilling to upset their social justice warring players by putting a stop to it. The first of these anti-American millionaires was, of course, social justice warrior-in-chief, Colin Kaepernick. He not only started the aforementioned shenanigans but has been unemployed and is accusing the team owners of collusion. He is filing a lawsuit against the league and is asking for a discovery that would prove his theory. 0. Shares Facebook Twitter The protest against the NFL is escalating to new heights every day. Even though the boycott that was brought on by the ridiculous protest has cost the league hundreds of millions, possibly even billions, in ad revenue, ticket and merchandise sales and possibly government subsidies, that they are unwilling to upset their social justice warring players by putting a stop to it. The first of these anti-American millionaires was, of course, social justice warrior-in-chief, Colin Kaepernick. He not only started the aforementioned shenanigans but has been unemployed and is accusing the team owners of collusion. He is filing a lawsuit against the league and is asking for a discovery that would prove his theory. According to Downtrend, the former backup quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers wants the phone and electronic communication records from all the owners of NFL teams as well as other top brass. Legal representatives for former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick are reportedly in the process of demanding that the cell phone and other electronic communications of NFL owners and general managers be turned over to prove that there was a sinister conspiracy to keep him out of the league this year. Apparently, the equality that Kaepernick is fighting for includes equality for any player who wants to be in the NFL but can't get signed. It's unclear whether these efforts will bring him closer to signing a contract with the National Football League, but even if he is able to force someone's hand, it's certainly not making him any more popular. CBS Sports doesn't think that his demand will actually be granted, it's a bold move on the part of a player who wouldn't likely have any career or presence left at all if not for his anti-American stance that catapulted him into fame. Ultimately the process generally results in a smaller sample granted. Currently, there is a litigation hold in place regarding the electronic communication of NFL teams, according to the source, with team officials prohibited from expunging any relevant data. While getting access to every owner's phone record seems unlikely to legal experts, Kaepernick's case would have a particular need to inquire about certain teams that had direct communication with the quarterback and teams that have suffered injuries at the quarterback position and worked out other players, and those teams whose owners have been in direct contact with President Trump. As previously reported, Trump's influence and directives regarding Kaepernick and protesting players will be a part of Kaepernick's collusion argument, with the NFL's collusion rules in the collective bargaining agreement stipulating that implied collusion can not take place between an agent outside of the league and member clubs and or the NFL league office. The formal discovery requests will include not just owners, but also top executives for the clubs involved. The phrasing of his lawsuit does seem a bit on the nose to those keeping up with politics. It's looking like if you're liberal or politically correct in any way, your go-to move is to try and prove that someone is colluding against you. You know, there's a diagnosis for people who always think someone is planning something or out to get them, it's called paranoia. It's as loony as the Democrats' scam to blame Hillary's loss on Russia colluding with Trump. Collusion seems to be the left's new organizing principle even if it is all horseshit being pushed by people in tinfoil hats. It's hard to see how this is going to do anything to bolster his case to find a job again and it's clear that he is looking for a big payday as well as a high-profile case that will elevate his personal profile in the public eye. This crusade won't result in him getting a spot on an NFL roster because, at this rate, there may not even be an NFL by the time that this farce is over. At this stage of the game, it's more likely that Kaepernick has nothing to lose, other than a possibly sympathetic jury who might award him some money for doing being disrespectful and getting himself fired, fired.